शॉपर हो रहा है आई न्यू डेविड पेटो एक बार लेकर आया नॉट एस प्लेट एस इंटरनेट सो दिस वी हैव प्लेजर टू एक्सचेंज फ्यू वर्ड्स तो देख सो अब लर्न चलो शोभाई चलो दोहरा ही सो इट्स बीन इट्स बीन अ जॉय टू कम टू सिटी ऑफ जॉय एंड थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर बीइंग हियर एंड द काइंड ऑफ रिस्पांस दैट यू हैव शोन टू दिस मैराथन इज इज रियली स्पेशल बट दिस इज ओनली द बिगिनिंग इट्स ऑल अबाउट हाउ यू फिनिश द रेस सो लेट्स गो डाउन टू द रेस वेलकम सचिन वेलकम टू कोलकाता एंड टू दिस प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस and uh, i was looking at the expression of all those people sitting here when you spoke those two lines they only had one response to that daru right such in speaking in bangla is daru right yes okay they're too busy clicking your photographs i think but anyway i'll answer i think there's no one bigger in in sport than sachin today he is a youth icon <laughs> sachin has played international cricket for 24 years I have worked in office for less than that. I'm just putting my feet up, and I'm already tired. So I think if someone like Sachin is the face of this marathon, it's going to just encourage, motivate, inspire more and more people to wear their running shoes and hit the roads. And this will lead to fitter country, fitter Kolkata, fitter wherever we host our marathon. So I think those are the reasons we have Sachin as the face of our marathon. Brilliant. So it's the message of fitness. It's not marathon because while you may think Sachin has not run marathons, 24 years of international cricket is no less than running marathons put together, number of them. But Sachin, coming to you, 34,000 plus international runs. We all know about the 100 hundreds, 62 Man of the Match awards, 15 Man of the Series awards. All these go on to make you synonymous with the sport of cricket. Did you think twice before you said yes for marathon? I have always been supportive as far as any outdoor activity is concerned, and I believe that uh, you know the today's generation kids have access to various things. You know, sitting in one spot, uh, the video games are there, computers and internet, and all sorts of things. You know, which keeps them engaged. Also, equally, I believe that you know to be able to go out and. Uh, play some sport, engage yourself in an outdoor activity has a positive impact on your health. Also, it's been proven that uh, if the kids go out and they play, their absorption, absorbing power becomes much more. They are able to grasp many more things, not just about sport, but also studying you know, various uh, things that they have to learn in schools and the absorption power becomes much more and it is about leading healthy lifestyle. I've said this earlier also that you know when I was growing up my grandmother told me your health is your real wealth. So look after your health and that is the same message that I want to share with the entire nation you know to stay active, to stay healthy, adopt a different lifestyle. I think we sometimes you know prefer to sit on the sofa and watch others play. We are not as participative as one should be. And the moment we you know, change our lifestyle, we immediately uh, figure out when we start using those same clothes. They fit you differently, they, they fit you better. Couple of athletes here, Sunil and Sharmila, a couple here, they actually ran for 36 hours. And Thinking that you know many guys cannot even drive for 36 hours without sleeping. So hats off to your fitness. Uh, you know it's it's beyond words what I could express about your fitness and your commitment, your discipline. Because you know even if somebody has to run for 42 kilometers, you require a lot of preparation. But if somebody is running for 36 hours, I think uh, you know, that's something magnificent. Uh, I know. Uh, nobody will be able to run for 36 hours, but we can make an effort to complete these uh, small, small steps, you know, 5 kilometers, 10 kilometers, and then 20, uh, 24 kilometers, 21 kilometers, and then 42 kilometers. So basically, you know, those gradual steps will, will allow you to achieve and get to your target where you want to be eventually. And I'd like to believe that people from Kolkata would like to run. 
it was slightly different. There was less awareness. You know, there are more and more things being discovered, and the kind of diet and all those kind of things. So, eventually, I feel those things only add value to what you want to be in life, and um, it it reflects. I mean, I think I think we've got possibly one of the best feeling sides in the world, and uh, it, it's a joy to watch all these guys feel the way they do. You know, they even while feeling they are extremely aggressive and very attacking. And um, you know, one thing is to be mentally attacking. You know, but uh, the other thing is also get your body to go in the same direction where your mind wants to go. And uh, that happens only when you are fit, when you practice. Uh, nothing happens without practice. And it's it's evident that uh, the, the the team has been practicing really hard and uh, also are conscious of their fitness. Yes, uh, when we played, obviously, we also tried our level best. But there are new and uh, newer things uh, discovered and, and uh, maybe 15 years from now, 20 years from now, players will be doing things differently to what the current generation is doing. And that's progression. And, and that's absolutely normal. So it's, it's uh, all I can say is, you know, it reflects and it's a joy to watch that. Uh, Kolkata, the first, the first big moment for me was when we played South Africa. South Africa was actually getting back to international cricket. And uh, the kind of reception they got was incredible. And not just inside the stadium, but the moment they landed from the airport all the way to the hotel, you know, there were people standing on both sides of the road, cheering them. And then, even today when I speak to someone like John T, John T was there, I think on that, that door. Um, there, were, there were a few other players who, who were, who, someone like Clive Rice, you know, who's uh, double my age at that stage. And when I met him, he, he still remembered that series. He still remembered the reception they got in Kolkata. And, and then, above all, the spectacular match that we had. Uh, you know, wasn't a high scoring game, but Alan Donald came and bowled fiery spell up front, got wickets, and then there was partnership uh, in, in our tent, and we ended up winning the game. But, you know, all in all, the experience was overwhelming for South Africans, and so was the case with me. But something which was memorable and completely different was the first day and night match we played here which was the semi-finals of Hero Cup against South Africa again and I ended up owning the last over there but before that there was something which happened I don't know how many guys noticed but there was because this was the first day night match that there, there was a mongoose which came in the second half of the game on the boundary line, the mongoose kept running there and uh, we got some wickets. Then the mongoose came and suddenly there was a big partnership. And again when the mongoose came, they, few, we got few wickets. So I was waiting for the mongoose to keep coming every now and then so that we could pick wickets. The mongoose did turn up for quite some time and the match got rather close and I ended up holding the last over. But, but uh, you know, it, it, that experience to, to see the entire stadium, they, they lit torches, uh, which, which I think happened for the first time, uh, truly out of this world. And, and you know, those are the moments which stay you not just that evening or for that series, but they stay with you for the rest of your life. And that is what Kolkata is known for. You know, when, when we also jokingly say in the team that you know, when we play in Kolkata, so that is the support that we get.